Hello, today I will show you how to make a Mario 64 like triple jump in UE4 and 5. This is UE5, but everything I do also works in UE4. It has the different heights, of course, and it plays different animations depending on which jump you're on. So let's get started. So to get started, open your third person character blueprint and go to your jump event. Should look something like this. So I want to make a triple jump, which means I have to know what jump I'm on. So to do this, I will make a new variable, call it current jump or something. And using this, I will change our jump height. To change the jump height, it's really simple because in our character movement component, we can simply set the jump velocity. So what do we set it to? That will depend on which jump we are on. Luckily we can use a select node for that and simply put in the values that we want. So zero, oh, I had a pin, zero will be our default option, which I will just keep the same as the how it is right here which is in UE5 it's 700, I know in UE4 the values are a bit different, also the gravity scale is much higher. So the default will be 700. I'm not sure about the other numbers, you can test them. Let's go 900 and 1200. And this will change our jump height. Now we simply have to increase this whenever we jump. So to quickly do this, add one to it, then modulo, so it rolls over every three, so it goes 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, since we don't need any numbers to go higher than that, and this alone should already be enough. You will see at the wall I can reach roughly half. And if I jump again higher, if I jump again, I can jump all the way up. And now it'll be back at zero. Now it's half again, then roughly three quarters, and now all the way up again. So this is the most simple version. But this is of course not everything yet. So first thing, one thing we can do is make the jump a little bit nicer, not custom event, begin play, because we can bind to apex, notify, notify apex, so we can make it so that when we reach the top of our jump, the character falls faster, which was simply if you have watched any videos on how to make a better jump, this will always make it feel less floaty and simply better. So to do this, there is a built-in Notify Apex event. You always have to set this true manually. And if we now type assign Apex, sign on reach jump Apex, this will create an event for you. And now when I reach the top of the of my jump, so now, or rather right when I'm falling down, starting to fall down, I want to change my gravity scale. So let's go with my 4. You can change these numbers as you wish, whatever you think is better. So when we land, on landed, we want to, of course, reset it so that our jump stays normal. And because, which in UE5 for some reason it's 1.75, not 1. So look at whatever you think is fits best to your project. And because, as you can see, by default it is off. If you want the event to fire, you have to set it to true. So we have to set notify apex to true again so that this gets fired and then this 
uh, changes our gravity. So with this now, you can maybe not so much see it, but you can definitely feel it if you code it yourself that you fall much faster, faster and it's generally just nicer. One thing, it's also a bit of a problem. When I press jump now, I'm now at my second jump, but I can wait with this however long I want. And now I get the sec second jump. Now I can wait for like 10 seconds again. And now I get the third jump. So we want to reset it, of course. When we land, we simply set a timer. Set timer by event. Make an event. Call it reset jump. And this is however much time you want to give the player to press the button again. So if you set it to one second, the player will have one whole second where they can jump at this height again. And it simply sets the jump to zero. Save this as a variable. Jump timer. Now, if I jump once at half height, and I wait a bit, I jump again. The height is still the same, but if I jump quickly in a row, it still works. By testing, I found that 0.15 is a nice value. So this works, but it's not perfect yet because we always run this event, even if we're mid jump, which is a bit weird. So if your jump is simply too long, it will still reset you because the event is never interrupted. And to interrupt it on movement mode changed, we can simply see if we are falling. Because if you are jumping in, in the movement, you are considered as falling. So if we are falling, we don't want to reset our jump because chances are it's because the player just jumped himself and doesn't want the jump to be reset. So it's a clear timer. Now in terms of code, I think this should be everything. So you have a, t you have a jump of three different types, three different heights. You can have a bit of a delay, but it also resets automatically if you don't jump for a bit. Next up is the animation part. So I've made previously made three animations. One for the first jump. These are all very quickly done in Cascadeur. The second jump and the third jump. Very simple. Open your NMBP into your event graph. In UE4 this should look quite different, but all the nodes are still the same. It's just arranged differently. So what we want to do is have our three, three different animations playing dependent on which jump we are on. So we already have this saved here and to get access to it in our NMBP can use our pawn owner, cast it to third person character, and save it. Third, per third person character. Now make an internal current jump value. And since there's a sequence here already, I might as well use it, set this one to the one in our character blueprint. Ignore this thing popping up. It's just a feature, I guess, of UE5. That causes bugs, visual bugs sometimes. So now we have our jumps here. Where do we, what do we actually do with this? So what we can do is make another 
variable, this will be the actual animation that is going to be selected that has our jump. So it is going to be of type NM sequence. And we want to set this again with a select and again using current jump and adding another pin. This is a bit of a bug of preview 2 I think with the window, this window not disappearing sometimes. So I want first one to be Mario, then Mario 2 and Mario 3. So now we know that we're the animations. Now how do we actually use them? In your NM graph, it'll also look a bit different again in UE4. It's probably just on locomotion in UE4, but in UE5 it's in main states. You will also have something like jump start and jump loop or something. So in jump, we will want to play our animation. To do this, it's very simple. We can simply click on this player click on the sequence and bind it to our jump animation. That's it. Now we should do something. You can see it's doing something, but it's not quite it. That's because we also need to change the loop. The loop is a bit different because if you jump, in Mario 64, if you jump, you keep your pull, uh, you keep that animation the entire time. But if you fall off something without jumping, it's a different animation. So I want to differentiate between that. I may press jump. It's gonna be a boolean. So blend by bool. If we didn't jump, because maybe we fell off a ledge or something. I want the normal animation to play and otherwise I want our, our new animation to play or rather to just stay at whatever it was which is the same as just uh, starting it from the very end. So I want to expose this this jump and then I get the length and start it here. So the idea is that I have a bit of a freeze frame where I'm doing nothing really and that I that my looping animation will be simply this exact pose. So if I plug in the starting position as the very end the very end as the starting position, then this will just keep like this. And this one we haven't actually done anything with. with. So back in the event graph, no, actually back in the character, um, we need to tell when we press the jump. There is already a built-in press jump a variable in the character movement component but that's a bit too it does what it's supposed to which is not quite right because I don't care about when it was let go but I care about when we landed so simply when, when we pressed it we set it when we landed we set it to false and once again same as this our internal version is a reference get player jumped and now this should kind of work so there's a bit of a problem we are doing the wrong animation by one step and it's weirdly looping. So for the looping, it's actually a very easy fix. Back in your states, in this, I just don't want this to loop. 
I want the animation to simply not change. I want her to just freeze like we are actually frozen. Now, this looks a bit more like what you would see in Mario. If you really want, you could, of course, make special looping animations because I'm just reusing the the simple start animation. You could make a start animation, then also a loop animation for all three jump types. It's a, however much you want to invest time into this. I think this works too. But what doesn't work is that we are one animation off every time. So how do we fix this? Or rather, why is this happening? It's happening because in the NMBP, in the event graph, this is constantly being updated on tick because this runs on tick. So it's constantly being updated, which means after we jumped and we set the jump to the next value, this will already read this new value and increase by one. So we start off at zero, then we jump, then we instantly increase it and instantly go to one. So it plays always one off. And to fix this, very simple, I just move this logic into here. So also jump and um, same thing again, and um, sequence and set it. Now it's always reading this the correct value. Move it over a bit. And this kind of works. So now in the NMBP once again, just get jump and um, set it. And now it should always have the correct one. So this is basically it. We now have a fully functioning triple jump with animations. Of course, if you want more jumps, maybe on four or five, or maybe you only want two, change the select nodes, add pins, remove pins. Same with the animations, make more animations or make less animations. If you don't like the gravity, well, generally just take a look in the character movement component. You can change a lot here or in the general settings. Maybe you don't like the default gravity it comes with. Maybe you don't like the timer you set, Give it, make it longer, make it shorter if you really want the player to need to have perfect timing. So you could make it that you have different timers. This time would be dependent on what's your next uh, jump. So maybe the first jump will be easy, the second jump will be a bit tighter and the third jump will need perfect timing. Do whatever you want. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you.